Oh, look at the pool. Cool. <laughs> Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Project Zomboid. Pretty sure I'm uh, close to death at the moment. I'm also really cold. Look at all these fucking moodles I have. Hungry, thirsty, tired. <laughs> yeah, aren't we all? I'm just I'm just trying to look for somewhere that I'm able to, to rest my weary head. I had to cut it without going to sleep. Um, so we might s shove two days into this episode. I'm not really sure how that's going to work. But uh, I'll make it work. That's how it's going to go. Because... Ingenuity is is gonna find a way. Life, ah, uh, Jeff Goldblum, ah, uh, finds a way, ah, uh, Jeff Goldblum. Just start and end every sentence with Jeff Goldblum, and you can't go wrong. That fucking aging hipster faggot. <laughs> oh, this is a, another paved road. We saw a paved road in the last episode, but I got scared off because there were so many zombies on it. So hopefully this one's going to be nice and clear, and just lead us to uh, where we need to go. I'm trying to get to Riverside. I've been been going for fucking ever, so I'm assuming that we're going to be close to it relatively soon? Question mark. I don't I don't know. I've lost sight of the river now, so um, it could be a good sign or a bad sign. Do people build cities, like, right on the edge of a river? That doesn't seem like a great idea. The whole city could just fucking slide into the river. And then you ain't got no city no more. The river got a city. And the river don't want no city because city's full of poop and rats and trash and humans. <laughs> you know, the humans made all this shit. All this fucking shit, humans made it. It's gross, isn't it? Super gross. Now nature's taking it back. That's so nice. Good job, nature. If I could just uh, sleep outside for a little bit, that would be most, most nice, most appreciative. Appreciated? I would be most appreciative. That's what I mean to say. So this road just curving back and forth. I mean, it is a paved road. There are not any other branches in it, so I assume that we're going to get there sometime, eventually. Once we get there, I can't fight any fucking zombies because I am absolutely out of exertion. Uh, tired, thirsty, hungry, everything terrible. But we're, we're just, we're doing the best we can. As we always do. So, pack up these nails, pack up this disinfectant. I still seem a little overweighted in this portion of the inventory, but... I guess that's because of the uh, fishing traps that I picked up earlier. It doesn't really make a difference if I bring them or not. All I need right now is just a little, a little hobble. A little hobble to rest my weary head. Preferably one without zombies, because if there are zombies, I'm gonna have to run in, lure them all out, somehow get back in without them noticing that I came back in and uh, go to sleep without them eating my brain as I rest my extremely tired head for almost probably 12 hours plus it's not gonna be good is what I'm saying this is already really fucking ugly I made a lot of mistakes uh, departing without really realizing how far I would need to go to get to this this new and mysterious place but um we have to be there I mean are we nearing the edge of the map almost we have to be I don't even know where this place is I've not seen any of this shit before I discovered so much new stuff that I didn't know was around my house there was a fishing shack I found an axe, I'm like, okay, cool, I can craft myself a little shelter. Guess what? Forgot the fucking saw. So, can't saw planks, can't do shit. I guess I could have, uh, ripped up my clothes and used logs and rip sheets to make, like, some log walls to pass out behind, but that's not elegant. I deserve elegance. 
I deserve the finest. For I am Dayton Does, king of this land, king of foraging and fishing, master of the wilderness. Although, uh, the wilderness almost killed me. Last night, almost. It's four fucking thirty, I've stayed up the entire night. Which is nothing new, you know. But usually you want to do it in the comfort of your own home. In front of your PC, with a internet connection and whatnot. That's how you, that's how you really do it. You want to stay up all night? You can do it every time like that. There's a street light. Some form of civilization that I haven't seen in a long fucking time. I'm just really hoping that this is going to uh, lead to success. And that if I do pass out, I'm going to uh, not be s surrounded by zombies. Or even have one zombie near me. Because if one zombie sees me pass out, that is fucking it. It is over. Oh, It's just so not good. I should have thought this out more. Should have brought a tent. Should have done a lot of things. Okay, now there are markings on the road. So I'm going to dip over here for a second. See if I could just find some form of civilization. That would be really, really nice. Hopefully no zombies. That would also be really... There's a house! Holy shit! Precious house! Oh god. Thank everything ever. We gotta go in and turn that TV off. But yeah, it looks uh, relatively unzombied in here. I could get a nasty surprise, and I'm not gonna be able to beat them back. Yeah, this place looks pretty new, all things considered. I mean, this is definitely part of Riverside. The house doesn't look decomposed hardly at all. So let's close these curtains, I will turn off this fucking TV, we'll see how much sleep we can get, and uh, I'm sure it's going to be a long one. But first I want a, a little snacky, a little midnight snacky, Yeah, I'm definitely going to sleep in the bed, because I am a fucking human, I deserve a bed, okay? The food is rotten, which makes me wonder a little bit. Yes, drink the juice. Delicious juice! Oh, still slightly thirsty. That's fine. Drink some more of that delicious juice. I like orange juice. It's so good for my body after a full day of fucking running. Alright, ominous music, but I'm not too worried about that, because guess what? I found a fucking house! Everything is great now! We're winning, we're winning. Alright friends, I'll see you uh, shortly, probably, in the late afternoon, something like that. Ah, oh, sleep it all off. Jesus Christ, what a time we had. Finally reached Riverside though. And I think that's what's most importantly, right? Should maybe take some sleeping pills to get back to sleep, but um, yeah. Waking up in the afternoon? That's fine. At least I'm not in danger of passing out anymore. Look at how spry little Dayton looks in the morning. I should probably at least have a look through the house. And I keep hearing those little glass breaking sounds. I don't really like that. What does that come from? You got something in here? Hmm. I want disinfectant of some kind. I want um, water purification tablets. That's a really good one. They don't seem to have anything for me really in this hoose. That's okay. Can't blame them. They did give me refuge from uh, an almost certain death. So thank you little house. You are the best. I shall give you a mark of honor. Oh, there's a saw. There's all the shit I need. I definitely need to take this saw because, uh... I want to build a little refuge on the way back. Boxes of nails, yes. Every time. Give me all. 
Dayton, that's too many boxes of nails. No, it's not. I'm going to build a giant house in the woods so I know where I'm going if I ever decide to come back to this place or if I ever decide to go back to uh, to my old house. My old bases. I could just set up here. I live in Riverside now. So, are we seeing new tile sets yet? Are these houses new tile sets? I'm not able to close the compass for some reason. TV's on in that house. The eeriest part of all is that there are no zombies wandering around. Which makes me a little curious. Oh look, there they are. On the other side of this fence. Hey zombies! What are you doing on that, that side of the fence? Don't you want to come over here and fight me? Come fight me, bro. That's fine. You don't want to fight? I don't really want to fight either. I just finished running like fucking 20 miles yesterday. It was crazy. It was so crazy. I hope this place isn't just like a bunch of houses. This looks a bit large to be a house. Oh, it's a glass door. That is definitely a new, uh, a new thing in a tile set. I'm pretty excited to see that sliding glass door, even though it doesn't really make a sliding sound. It slams open and shut like a regular ass door. But it's still pretty cool though. Let's explore this fucking giant house. There's probably some treats in here, right? A little bit of, uh, fun animals for the tea party. Hell yeah! Brontosaurus! Helicopter. Should I bring the top hat? It's not sentient. Fuck that. You don't even have a brain. He's like, yes I do. And I'm like, no, that's not the brain inside you. I mean like a brain brain. Oh, this has an attached garage? Y'all fancy. Y'all fancy as fuck, ain't you? This is an aluminum bat. Maybe I'll need that a bit later. But for now, eh. There's also tent pegs. I did think about building a tent. But I'd rather build a, a giant house. At least a, a tertiary base. Like I've done so many times before. Bath towels, empty pillbox, sheets, washcloth. I don't need this stuff. I don't even need it. Any goodies in here for me? Some treats? Action figure! Hell yes, action figure! Toy panda? Ooh! This has got all kinds of goodies. I'm gonna fill up my, my bags with stuffed animals. I got my priorities straight. Uh, baseball bat's in pretty shit condition. So I won't bother with that. I do hear a zombie somewhere though. Hey, hey, what you doing? You want to be my first kill in Riverside? Come here! Get over here, you! Silly. Silly Zambi. Damn. Heads are squishier over here in Riverside. Guess it's all that methamphetamine. So this is pretty cool. This is like a super nice neighborhood. Oh, we got a BB gun. That's pretty nice. Not too many BBs with it, though. So I ain't gonna bother. Hey, 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 hey. Don't do that. This neighborhood is fucking pristine. You will not ruin it. This is kind of weird. It's like, um... Going into that dystopian VR after spending so much time in, uh, Fallout 3. What was that? Like, Daisy Lane? Some shit like that? Maybe, maybe I'm thinking of the wrong thing. Maybe I'm thinking of a porn star. I don't know if there's a porn star named Daisy Lane. But if there's not, then there should be. <laughs> um. Yeah. It seems like mostly houses around here. I was promised some, some new things. New and exciting things. A spa. That's what I was most looking forward to. And I hear somebody breaking fucking windows. Do not do it. Do not do it. Hey, I said do not do it. How many times did I say it? Three? 
You're fucking dead. She only have to tell you once. You shouldn't even have to tell you once. You should have some manners. Get some fucking manners. All right. Onward and upward to bigger things. There's a nice big house. I like all these big houses over here. Maybe I will just fucking chill over here for a little while. This is pretty sweet. Pretty begging sweet. Oh, there's a parking lot to my right. Which means there's probably some treats over there. But first I want to explore this house. See why all these zombies want inside. So many broken glass sounds. I don't like that. There's a zombie in there. A little couple. Hey, friends. Party time. And you're dead. Well, that's a shame. I ruined a perfectly nice house. Are there, are there zombies in here? Is that a zombie? I guess not. Okay. Turn the fucking TV off. Before my brain gives away. It's completely destroyed. Oh look, what are you doing? Jeez. Where was you hiding? Guess I'm gonna shut this door before I go digging through. Yes, they have some adhesive bandages. Wonderful. Alcohol wipes painkillers. Yes. Take some peels. That's what I'm looking for. That's the good shit. <sighs> Alright. Tongs, wooden nails. I don't give a shit about any of this. I want to go explore what's over there at the parking lot. What are you doing? Jumping fences. You don't live here. And if you did, you don't know more. Because I fucking live here. This town's only big enough for the one of us. This town ain't big enough for the all of us. Oh, they're all knocking on that door. Which means something exciting's going on. We should see what it is. Hey, friends. How you doing? Look at this interracial couple. They were gonna have a good time at whatever this establishment is. But no longer. Your date is over. You're welcome. What the fuck? You just wanted to, like, play hide-and-seek in the boxes, or...? I don't understand. Pallet of lumber. That could come in quite handy. Jackknife, test tube rack, box of balloons. I know a lot of this stuff is just from, uh... Hydrocraft. And I don't really know what to do with that mod, necessarily. Not yet. We should probably take, like, tarps and tent pegs whenever we find them. That's going to be useful. Oh, and my hunger is growing as well. Hmm. I did see an MRE in here somewhere. Where's that MRE? How many tent pegs do I need? Probably four. That would make good sense. Um. Looking for... There it is. Heat this up. Alright. And yet another tent peg. So we got three now. I guess that's pretty good. But if I need four, then it's going to be useless to have three, isn't it? Alright, there's four. Is more better? Does that go further? I don't know. I don't understand nothing. Hey, look at this. Oh god. Look at that. <laughs> What a sneaky fella. Ah, oh, delicious snacks. Bunch of rotten food that's been refrigerated. So yeah, it's kind of hard to tell how the uh, generation of this new town worked. Because obviously the food that's... Even the refrigerated food has been here long enough to become rotten. But, um... The buildings look relatively pristine still. Which makes me wonder. Just a little bit. Oh, look at this. 
Nice new awning. A little bit of patio furniture out here. We can be making the big bucks. Holy shit. Almost got bit. Get the fuck away! She was coming at me. She was coming right for us. Earrings. You, you ain't got shit. You ain't got shit. I don't want to hear it from you. Look at this. Is this like the hotel? Is this the spa that I heard so much about? Oh. Spaghetti. That's what we call it. Spaghetti. Hmm. I don't really need anything in here. Sheet metal, maybe. I don't know. Want to do some welding? Oh, look at the pool. Cool. This is so nice. Hey, get away from the pool. Hey, get away from the pool. Come over this way. I don't want to look at you. Can you climb over that? Good. That's a good stupid. Come over here. Just this way. I'm gonna lead you into the woods and shoot you like fucking old yella or something. I should also probably take some sleeping pills. I don't want to cram two days into one episode. Seems a little overzealous. Doesn't, doesn't you think? Doll, I already got one. Already got one. Don't need that shit. Let's take some sleeping tabs. Sleeping tabs. For my sleeping abs. What? <laughs> my abs are sleeping. They're covered up nicely with a layer of fat, you see. They're, they're resting comfortably. Can I swim in the pool while my sleeping tablets take effect? Hmm. I guess I can't fill this water bottle because the the pool water might be tainted. It's probably tainted with chlorine or something like that. So you don't want to drink that. That's not going to be good for your tummy tum. It's going to turn your pee green. Wait, no, that's your hair. Never mind. Something like that. I don't know. Some antidepressants. Some more painkillers. I can always use more painkillers. Shit. Shit. I guess antidepressants would be good too. There's probably so much stuff in this uh, little hotel. And I'm so excited to see the swimming pool as well. That's so nice. Is there roof access? Can I find my way upwards? Oh. Hello. Hello? Are you in there? Maybe it's the next door. Next door down. God damn it. You're freaking me out. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't trust it. So many zombies. So many zombies lurking. I'm so sure lurking and berserking. Like they do. Alright. This is my room for now. I should just take over this hotel. Have a nice fucking swimming pool. You got like a little gas station down the street. You could get lots of snacks and foods and such. Mmm. I'm digging Riverside. I'll tell you that much. It might be because it's not uh, as blown out as fuck like everything else around here. But it'll do. It'll definitely do for now. I'm going to change my bandage up. And I will say for now... Thank you so much for watching, friends. This has been Project Zomboid. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy this sneak peek of Riverside. We will be here for quite a while. I don't have any uh, vegetables or bullshit growing at my other abodes. So, uh, yeah, why not? We could chill out here. Um, stuff in the refrigerator might go bad back at home, but uh, this might be our new home. Who knows? I kind of like that idea. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe always helps the channel out. We're getting pretty big, man. Four digits. We're at like 1027 as I'm recording this, which is fucking amazing to me. It's been a great month for growth, and uh, I hope that this episode will help continue that growth uh, if people are still searching for Riverside Project Zomboid. Probably a lot of people have gotten to it faster than I did, but... Um, 
Hopefully I'm, I'm able to uh, generate some new views. If you know any Project Zomboid fans, don't hesitate to shoot this their way. Even your grandma, who's not a Project Zomboid fan, maybe she'll enjoy this. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you in the next one, friends. Thanks so much for watching, and until then, bye bye One, two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.